Hello, my name is C, and today I have four unboxings from Diamond Art Club. These are the ones that I purchased throughout the month of June. June. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna do a full unboxing of Fish Spirit, and then a shorter version of these two. But a full unboxing of this one because I want to see all the new stuff. So I'm gonna leave it here. And let's jump right on into Fish Spirit. Alright, so here's our first one. We have Sp yeah, Fish Spirit. Don't know how to pronounce that name, so I'm not going to try. It is square 50.8 by 50.8. We also wrote square from the blue branding on the box. On the back. We have how it works, our kit contents, and of course the warnings, followed by a QR code for 10% off. all of your important information. We have our toolkit. All right, so in here we have a bag of baggies. You can kit up with these or just use them for storage. We get a purple pen with a matching squishy. These very kit kit. We also get a four and a seven tweezer, a pair of pointy tweezers, and actually those ones aren't too bad. <laughs> and we get a couple plates of that heart-shaped wax, our tray with a stopper, followed by our washi tape and a cover minder. Again, these very kit to kit. Oh, I already have that flower. Cute. Garbage. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. So inside here we have our... Oh, it's sideways. We have our canvas. have poor glue canvases so it is okay to roll them backwards like this just don't do it with anything that isn't poured glue it just helps it lay a little bit flatter there we go so it's pretty much entirely in frame and this looks amazing those blues this is i can already tell full of specials and i love our little fish okay Here we get a thank you note from the founder. It includes what's included in your kits and tips and tricks, another discount code, step-by-step -step video, as well as a link to the VIP Facebook group, and some step-by-step -step instructions. On the back is also QR codes to the app with another discount code. Huzzah! Okay. We also have our sticker sheet, so all of these are pre-cut stickers that you can put onto baggies, containers, whatever you wish. We have the name of the kit, the artist, start and end dates, a better look at that full image, followed by the diamond shape. So we have squares, the size, and the skew. So this kit has 46 colors. Two of those are ABs. Anything below 150 is an AB, so we have two ABs. Followed by some extra specials at the very bottom. Anything with a letter in front of it is another type of special. 
So the L would be the iridescent or crystals. C would be your fairy dust. So there's one crystal, four fairy dusts. Wild. <laughs> All right, on our canvas, we have Do It Makes You Sparkle Diamond Art Club at the top, followed by a legend on the left, top left, and another one on the bottom right. We have all of our information, the SKU, the name of the kit, the size, the artist, and this just means that the art is legally licensed, so the artist gave their permission and is being fairly compensated for their work. We have Diamond Art Club socials and another discount code at the bottom, followed by the lifetime warranty. So if anything happens to your kit, shoot them an email, Diamond Art Club will be happy to help. I'm gonna zoom us right on in. Um, whoop, sorry. There we go. So, this kit has a lot of color blocking. And by that, I just mean that you will be having the, this is a really good example here, the same color in your tray for quite some time, as opposed to well, actually, this is a really good look at something like this, where you have multiple colors in a small section. So, it is mostly, mostly <laughs> color blocking, which is some confetti within this fish. But even then, it is not a whole lot. Oh, I just, it's so pretty. And of course, my light isn't helping with that glare. But yeah, super pretty. Let's take a look at the diamonds. So on our diamonds we have the skew, which matches the bottom of the kit, as well as the sticker sheet and the name. So if you're like me and you store things separately, it is super easy to match up later. Here is that color spread. I can see some really nice yellows and greens in here, but a lot of darker blues, which is to be expected. <laughs> I will pause and we will talk about them. But so far, lots of blues, some pretty purples, oh, look at this one, 3844 is so pretty. little amount of 310 okay which is just your like pure black our first ab is 129 a pale yellow so ab just stands for aurora borealis it is this iridescent coating that is placed on the top of the diamonds which tends to give it this nice glowy shimmery effect. It reflects a lot of colors like pink, purple, blues, and greens. On these paler colors, I usually see more pinks and greens. But there we go. Followed by another pretty blue. <laughs> and right at the end, we have our crystal L305, 307. Your crystal has this like silver backing that goes onto the bottom of the canvas and it's more like a clear yellow diamond so that it reflects the light a little bit differently but super pretty. I do have a completed kit that I will link up in the corner there if you'd like to see what these iridescents look like once placed. Is 
see. 743 is this pale yellow. And very dust diamonds. Mm, you can kind of see it right in here. Have this like light mica powder brushed onto the tops of them. So they have this more like gentle shimmery effect. It's super pretty. Oh, and then we have another one. Z973, a brighter yellow. With that same. You can kind of see it down here. And that same glittery coating. And our next AB. 120, a nice bright baby blue. No, it's not really baby blue, but it's a nice blue. It definitely reflects a lot more blues and greens than the AB did. Or the um, yellow AB did. And a nice pale blue. Another fairy dust is E775. Mm, yeah, you can kind of kind of tell, not really with this one, but that is another fairy dust. I've lost track of how many we found. <laughs> Here we go. These 6,000 diamonds are just um, Diamond Earth Club creating their own color scheme to kind of fill in the, in the gaps in the DMC numbers. And then we have Z. What is it? 3855? Three eight six five. It is your a very close to white, and it has that same gentle shimmery coating on the top. Okay, I based off the colors alone, I think I know where these all are. So we are looking for the symbols one, two, a bunch of yellows, the anchor, and the dot for our fairy dust and crystals. Starting at the top of the canvas, actually we can zoom in a little for this, there we go. So starting at the top, all of these super bright white dots is that white fairy dust. With some of that anchor sprinkle in, which is our, that pale baby blue fairy dust. And that is sprinkled throughout the background. And I was right. <laughs> In our moon. So we have the twos, which is this brightest yellow right along the outside. That is your yellow AB. The white that you are seeing is that white fairy dust. The slashes, so that pretty much the middle part of this moon is this fairy dust, that paler, paler yellow, and, oop, I thought I had butted it again. <laughs> that looks to be about it, surprisingly, oh, you know what, never mind, I see it, okay. Um, we have the ones highlighting in the water here, and that too, so that yellowy bee is just dripping down from the moon and in the reflection of the water it is that brightest yellow this super dark yellow that you see here is that iridescent and it leads to the fish so that's your crystal followed by a which is that brightest fairy dust right along in here as well as in these ripples of the water and then the fish is entirely that white fairy dust. Oh, and there's a couple more of those yellow ABs right in this part of the ripple. All right, that is fish spirit. I knew when I purchased this that a lot of the specials would be focused in this moon and the fish, and I'm very, very happy with how that looks. Maybe I should have started this there we go. Maybe I should have started this one because it's so pretty. I would love to see how all those specials work together. Okay, anyways, this was Fish Spirit. I'm gonna wrap this up and grab the next one. All right, the second one is... Okay, 
hella tea. I'm gonna call her tea. <laughs> Anyways, this box is a little different. It is a round kit, so you have a lot of that pink branding on it. Okay. We're gonna do a speed run of this one. So here is our sticker. Ooh, I don't have this one yet. Cute. And our washi. Garbage. Don't need that. Oh. There it is. Ah, I knew I was on too good of a streak. There we go. Okay. Oh, we're starting at the top. Look at her. Oh, she's gorgeous. It is beautiful. Like, look at the strings along her here. Oh, yeah, they're garbage. I don't need that. Okay, hold on. colors make me so happy too. I just finished bubble because I was pati patiently <laughs> patiently on my part waiting for Diamond Art Club to actually send these out and they have delays. It happens. I don't mind um, but I wanted to work on this color palette so much. Oh I love it. Look at that detail. Even these guys. Like it's so pretty. Okay enough gushing. <laughs> Here is the stickers. We have T by Miss Holly. A full look at that image. Yeah, these were just, these like strings of pearls were just rendered beautifully. And it is a round 55.6 by 76 centimeters. 50 colors. Um, two ABs and three fairy dusts. Gosh, it's just, I can't get over it. It's just so pretty. <laughs> oh. Okay. Let's. That was probably dizzying. Sorry. <laughs> Here is just a single lone purple. The purples, the pinks, these like in between blues and purples. Love these blues. Like this set of three right here. So pretty. I'm trying to be careful that I don't blow right past the specials. And here's our first one. So 120. Beautiful blue for that AB. So pretty. A couple more single strands here. Some more purples. Ah, there we go. Ah, so we have our fairy dust. And there's two bags of Z3865. Such a pretty, pretty white with that shimmery coating. Ooh, this 
isn't one I've had before. C604. It's such a pretty, pretty pink. Love that. And then C340. It's that like purpley pinky. Purpley pinky. Purpley bluey. And also not one I've had. Super pretty. Some more blues. Ooh, I like this blue 995. And our second AB, 128, a pale pink. And then 3845, super pretty. <laughs> Lots of beautiful pinks and blues. I keep saying, I keep saying that, but it's true. Alright. That is all for the colors. So, let's start from the top, working our way down. We are looking for the symbols one and two for those APs, the anchor, the spade, and the dot for our fairy dust. And we keep that close because I tend to forget things. <laughs> so, right away, I can see a patch of one right here in the background so that is your blue ab followed by some of those twos sprinkled in which is that pink ab this brightest white like the streaks in the background the outlining all of that like wherever you see that bright bright white is that white fairy dust that is gorgeous <laughs> we have yeah so like all of this in here this um maybe i could show you so this shade of pink so it's all in here this strip back here a good portion nice big chunk along with the back here and over here that is all that pink fairy dust and I think I saw, yes, so the anchor is this lightest patch right in her hair here, and that is that bluey purpley fairy dust, and that is highlighting all throughout her hair. There's another patch of that blue AP back here. There is ones, not ones, there is one each of that white fairy dust in her eye, followed by a couple of those pink fairy dusts. More of that purpley bluey fairy dust in her hair. Some twos outlining in here. Same up here as well. So those twos. Moving on down again, still this brightest white is that white fairy dust. Even in this like bubble over here. Um, this entire patch, um, <coughs> sorry, this entire patch is a bluey purpley fairy dust, same with, and, mm, I don't know what I want to call these, but whatever's coming from her back, that highlighting, that brightest part, is that bluey purpley fairy dust, and then you have more of that bright pink, all in the background. Is that pink fairy dust? I didn't see a lot of the ones, but I think I already did that. The ones and twos I haven't seen much of. There's more of that purpley bluey fairy dust down here. Again, still with that bright white is the white fairy dust, more of that pink AB back here. So that's where it is. Oh, and highlighting in here. There's a couple of ones sprinkled in the background there, and some more. Oh, there's a good patch of twos, so that pink AB right on, on the edge here. And that looks to be about it. Oh, she's so pretty. Kit. Alright. 
I'm going to wrap this one up and grab the next one. Okay, <laughs> the next one I have is actually in Diamond Art Club's upgraded boxes, which this is a beefy box. They already said that they're going to cut down the size, but it is massive. Anyways, it is Hades and Persephone by Margaret Morales. We can actually see the original artwork here, as well as the rendering on the boxes. We still have that same blue branding for squares and that square on the front. We also have a little guy here. The ooh. I'm not gonna be able to get that in. The bottom has a little picture and the same information just down here. We can see another picture and then all of the colors and specials listed there. On the back we have how it works, our kit contents, and the same warnings. Oh, that's cute. At least you're an artist. It feels like diamonds too. I like that. Okay. Let's let's attempt to open this thing. Yeah. It did come like plastic wrap, but I always take that off. Um, when I can- okay, see so there's this entire thing that slides out and I don't think I have enough room. Eep. Oh, got it! No, I don't. There we go. Okay, so we have this like really nice box that it's in, like super sturdy. Um, we have- thank you for your purchase. This is so cute. We have their branding the link to the Facebook group and their socials, followed by the same QR codes for the app, kit content, step-by-step, -step, and tricks, tips and tricks. Oh, okay, and this is our sticker sheet. That is so cute and so little. <gasps> Wait, hold on. Okay. I have this teeny tiny little photo album. Does this, does this fit? Oh, it will! And I can put them all in here. So this is, this is the new one. <laughs> Compared to these stickers. <laughs> Look at that size difference. Anyways, I don't know if people care about that. <laughs> so this is now my new Logic sticker holder. Cool. Um, so all of this is a sticker too. So like the name, the diamond, the logos. Of course, all of these are still stickers. And we have our image as well. And the information down here and our start and end date. There is 68 colors, three ABs. I haven't seen that one before. And four fairy dusts. Cool. Okay. I don't know if that's... Is that how it was folded? I don't know. I'm, I'm messing with things now. Okay. This is a super sturdy shelf that goes in here to keep your toolkit from crushing the canvas. I'm probably just going to recycle this and use this box for something else. So, there's that. <laughs> but it's like, sturdy. And, I'm excited about this. We have our upgraded toolkits. So we still get the same bag of baggies. Um, the heart-shaped wax. And, a new pen. So this is preloaded with wax, not wax, um, Dumber Club's putty. Let's see. And like you could change out the multi-placer. I would probably put in a seven myself. Um, ooh, okay. But that is super neat and I guess somehow it's loaded in here. 
I watched Katie's video on it, but I really didn't because I wanted to play with it myself. <laughs> so, how do you come off? Do you? Am I going to break this on my first kit? Or do I just twist backwards? <gasps> you twist it the opposite way. Makes sense. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> so... Oof, that is like wedged in there. Okay, so you can load up like a teeny tiny little bit of putty in here and this just kind of pushes it down. And that's neat. It's really neat. I'm just like, this feels different than their other putty. I bought it when it first came out. But I would be, I'm going to set this aside because I want to try and use this. And then you get like extra, extra putty. What's it called? Yeah. But yes. Okay. And, sorry, I like putting stuff away as I do this. Diamond Club has come up with some new trays. These are sturdy. It's like a hard, hard plastic. So your lid slides in and out. And then you also have your stopper. Ooh. Uh, don't put it in the wrong way. <laughs> but that's nice. This feels flimsy, like it would rattle around, but it sits in there quite nicely. And you can see that there are some grooves along the side, so you can stack them up. Like this one dips down, so you can stack them up nicely. And then there's Diamonds Art Club's branding on the sides. Cool. The ridges look nice and deep, too. We'll have to see how it works. As soon as I'm done, I'm going to do some more diamond painting. <laughs> This is the bad boy I want to see. That is still really sturdy. I like the new stuff. <laughs> okay, we have we at the bottom. I'm gonna do a quick run through now. I just wanted to take a look at that box and the new stuff. Okay, this is pretty. Look at her hair and these flowers. Oh, look at her face. Excuse me. There we go. Mr. Bucktooth over here. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, that feels different. Okay. I have personal beef with his face. <laughs> this, this little white dot in his mouth bothers me and it did when I first saw the rendering too. Uh, it's not the rendering team's fault. Their job is to get as close to the original artwork as possible. However, I'm changing that whenever I get around to this kit. You know, this plastic almost feels like, do you ever, I don't know how to describe this, but do you ever like spill something on plastic? like juice or something and you try to clean it up and then it leaves like this like vague sticky feel to it for some reason that it feels like that like it's not it's not sticky at all it's just maybe they changed the plastic i don't know it's not sticky there's nothing wrong with it it's just different <laughs> somehow but look at how pretty this is and this is, this looks cool. 
This is definitely a more confetti heavy kit, especially when you get into her hair. Ooh, okay. I'm getting ahead of myself. I see several points on this that I might change, but we're gonna look at the diamonds first, I think. So let's, let's return her. Bell, my guess. And look at these colors. Something open. I need to be careful of that. Anyways, ooh! Ah, did I even say? What are we looking for? Four fairy dust, two ABs, three ABs, three ABs. And we already have our first one, C967. It is slightly pinker in person than it's appearing in camera. You can see that kind of shimmer on the top of it. Cute. There we go. We'll start off with the big bags as always. Some grays. I shouldn't say some. There is a lot of grace. <laughs> and kind of the end. This has nothing to do with diamond paintings, but I currently have a song stuck in my head. Ooh, what are you doing away from the other 310? I have that like, what is it? Unsweetened lemonade, sweetened lemonade, whatever song. Currently rattling around in my head. It's great. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's related. Not really. Super pretty colors. My neighbor is currently standing in his yard. I really hope that that's a pair of like beach shorts and not his underwear. All right, here is our first AB 103, a nice bright red that is super pretty. Followed by 125, that like pale, pale blue that it's almost white, but it's more minty. Pretty three three four one. Oh, a nice orange. Another fairy dust. So see three eight six five. That white. My neighbor could go back inside. That'd be great. <laughs> Here's another red. Anyways, a deep green. It is so pretty. Followed by, I want to see a more peachy color. 3825. Beautiful. And then just some small handful colors to add some shading. It's pretty pink. Pink, purple. Both. Both. Okay, let's. Oh my gosh. So it is ice F a texture thing, and this is. I don't know why. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. But why is it giving me that, like, vaguely sticky feeling? I don't know. I'm gonna try and ignore it because there's nothing wrong with the canvas. <laughs> All right, so we are looking for numbers one, two, and three. 
did I do? Am I tripping? Did I ever show this AJ? Can you focus, please? Thank you. Or did I zoom right past this? Um, anyways, here is that purple AB. Um, my bad. <laughs> I, I really don't think I showed it. Anyways, gosh. Um, one, two, and three. And then we have the X dollar sign slash and that dot. Why aren't you focusing? So the faces. Mm, I don't know. Stop being weird. Okay. As I talk to myself in a room. Um. I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping that you couldn't hear all that. There is a highway just like on the other side of my um, neighborhood. A couple blocks, not even. <laughs> so you hear everything. <laughs> I really hope it didn't pick that up. Anyways, one, two, threes. So let's start there. So we have twos right back in here. Gosh, twos back in here. We have some more twos down on this side. Read in the slightest. Um, <laughs> right in this lightest here, so this patch. We have more twos in between these branches. We have a patch of that white fairy dust. Um, I should say the twos are that minty bluey gray. And then we have the white fairy dust right in here, that brightest white. There is twos in his hair right here. Um, doing some highlighting, followed by those white dots. Is that it? I think so. Sliding it down. We have some ones highlighting here. A couple more of those white fairy dust. The one is that, that reddish color. We have more ones. The brightest pink in these flowers. Well, not the brightest pink, but it's doing like all the outlining and shading between the petals. We have some twos sprinkled in her hair, so that minty blue. We have the slashes here, which is that peachy fairy dust in her hair. What are you? And the dollar signs in these leaves, so that second darkest green back here. And of course the ones continue in this flower as well. Oh look, one of the fancy cars. <laughs> We have the peachy, it is summer, all the, the fun toys come out and they are very loud. The peachy ones continue in her hair in that lightest patch. The ones, that reddish ones, reddish AB still in these flowers. The same with the green fairy dust still in the leaves of the flowers. We have some whites back in this butterfly. Kind of looks like a butterfly. So right back in there, we have some more whites highlighting here, it's just sprinkled in her clothes. Some whites in the butterfly. I haven't seen X, I haven't been looking. <laughs> okay, I just, I blew right past it. So the X is that pinky fairy dust, that very first one we saw. And it is all the brightest parts of these flowers, this butterfly. I'm very happy there is none in her. There's a couple of those green fairy dusts for her eyes, but that's about it. So that's nice. Okay, let's keep her, keep her moving. And there's the, did I say the size on this? It is 65 by 86. It's a big one. So the same with those patches of that peach fairy dust throughout her hair. And then you have it also in the, or that pink one in the flowers. More of that white just sprinkled wherever you see that brightest white. Um, more the ones, so that reddish one in these petals. 
I feel like I missed something. Mm, where's the threes? <gasps> ah, okay. <laughs> so, and then the greens are, yeah, and the leaves. The three is this bright, or this pale purple down along this leaf. It is in the clothing, so that's that purple 80. There's a good patch of it here. I think I missed some. Yeah, this butterfly is that purple baby. There's some back here in her clothes. Cool. Okay. Um, the next thing, briefly, that I wanted to talk about is one I am heavily debating picking up some more gold metallics and changing her armband to the metallics. But also, I might change the coloring in his neck a little. I don't know how I feel about those bright purples there. And I might take out these couple dots. I know that they're highlighting, I know they're in the original artwork, but I think I want something a little smoother. And that goes for her hair down here too. So we'll see if I make those changes when I get around to this kit, if I remember to. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay. Ooh. <laughs> this was supposed to be like a quick snapshot unboxing. I've spent 22 minutes here. So I think it is time to say that this kit is gorgeous. I love it, but it is time to wrap it up here. Um, I may be back with more kits. I may not. We shall see. <laughs> All right, so I ordered one more, and we have Botanical Witch. <laughs> Eesh. There we go. We're going to skip over this and take a look at our little packets. Actually, it's recycling, probably. Mm, maybe not. Okay. So, it is Botanical Witch by Maddie Hertz. It has 58 colors, it is square, 55.8 by 78.7 centimeters, and there is a full artwork. Super pretty. And then by the colors, we can see that there is 1AB red, L would be our rhinestones or crystals, or as Diamond Art Club calls them, iridescent, so there's one of those. One, two, three, six, five. One, two, three, four, five, five. Five fairy dusts, and those have a Z in front of them. Okay. had that like damp sticky feel to it. This one does as well. I wonder if it's because it's a new cover? I don't know. All right. There is like fuller view. Ignore my stand. 
<laughs> there's a full view of that canvas. Super pretty. Um, there is ton of color blocking back here. And in the plants, even herself, like even down here, there's a good patch. But there is, I wonder, a lot more confetti and like the leaves and her hair. But it's not bad, the detailing on her hat. Anyways, it's super great. <laughs> Let's leave it at that for a second. Okay. And we're going to take a peek at this guy. Here is our colors. Lots of greens and browns. And let's try and find those specials. First up is C3865. It is a white fairy dust. So it has, you can kind of see it hidden in here, that glitter coating right on the top. And there is five bags. are so pretty. Look at these green, some purple. Ooh, this is a nice one. It must be in her hair. Okay, so we have regular 310. There must be an extra bag of that iridescent one somewhere. <gasps> okay. Here's another fairy dust, Z915. It has um, a matching purple glitter that is not wanting to show up. Maybe. Eh, not really, but it's a very pretty color. Some browns. The yellow fairy dust. Okay, you can see it down here better. That mica. It's like a pale, pale, peachy yellow. But you can kind of see that coating there. Followed by two bags of Z734. So, <clears throat> it is this green. Pretty. Really like that red. And Z760. There's some trash. That's okay. Very pretty pink. And then we have our AB115. A bit of a darker red. And small handful of colors. Here it is, our black iridescent, super small handful, and it's really hard to catch that look with the blacks. Those ones are face up there. But tiny, tiny handful of those. Okay. Next. Mm -hmm. 
There we go. Go away. Go away. Okay. okay. <laughs> we are looking for one focus. Focus. No. That's not what I want you to focus on. Anyways, looking for the one, this like fish foam, the bacon square, N, E, and the dot for our iridescence. That's annoying. Anyways, I guess because this is in focus. Who knows? Whatever. <laughs> so, the thing that caught my attention right away is that all of this white in the background is that white fairy dust. So, all of this, <laughs> which will be super pretty. Um, we have the lightest green in all of these leaves. It's, so it's like in this one, this lightest green down in here, over here as well. Um, is that green fairy dust? There's some sprinkled down on the edge here. We have N, which is that darker purpley ruddy one highlighting on what window panes who knows <laughs> and it's just highlighting on these all of them actually we have any e's no um okay i'm gonna move it down just a little bit we have those squares in here so that is that pink fairy dust and that burgundy fairy dust set. Um, 915 purpley pinky color continues throughout the whole thing. We have that green fairy dust highlighting in these leaves, like down in here, this brightest green, even on this side as well. We have the E's. So that yellow fairy dust highlighting on her hair, the edge of her glasses. Yeah, the brightest yellow is that fairy dust. Um, ooh, okay. Let's, what haven't we seen yet? Just the ones. Which go right in this pot. So this dark red right here, this giant patch here, and the second brightest color here is that red fairy dust. All of the, again, with the highlighting of the leaves for that green fairy dust, her hair for the yellow, her jewelry, like her rings, and her fingernails even down here as well, is that iridescent, that black iridescent diamond. That'll be neat. Oh, how do I feel about that? So the ends in her tattoos, that dark purpley color, is that fairy dust. Even continues on her leg. I'm curious on how that would look, because it is her skin. I don't know. I'll trust it. And I think that's all that I see. Okay. I'm going to wrap this one up. And I think that is all that I have for June. <laughs> so if you like this video, let me know down below. Let me know which one's your favorite. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.